Horses travel to and from the races in horse transit trucks and it's very important for these trucks to follow a set schedule so they arrive on time at the race courses. Champion season is one of the most exciting times in the South African racing calendar. We've got some of the best horses that come to KZN to compete in some of the biggest races in the country. So stakes are high, tensions are high, stress is also high, especially on race day. So it's very important for horses to keep calm on race day at the race course amidst all the noise, all the excitement, all the people. Once the horses jump out the trucks, the first and most important thing is water. So the grooms take the horses to the wash bay to go hose them down and to clean them up of all the excess sweat that has accumulated from the traveling. Once the horse is nice and dry, the groom will then clean up the horse, put on the bridle and prepare it for races. Some trainers like putting patterns on the rumps of their horses to make them look nice and even shining their hooves. The buzz on course can get very electrified. Noise, the excitement, the roars from the crowd, and this can be a little overwhelming for the horses. So it's very important for the trainers to keep their horses calm and well prepared on race day. Every horse is different. Some horses stress a little bit more than others. So what we normally do is we find a more quieter box which is away from the parade ring where horses can't see the parade ring because sometimes they will get a little bit uptight when they see horses walking around. So certain horses will get uh, saddled more by the wash bay where they can't see the parade ring. Normally in the day there, there are some uh, horses get treated when they go to the races so there are a few little medications that you can give to, to horses. Uh, like I say, each individual trainer does what they want to do to keep their horse relaxed. If the horse finishes the race in the first four places, it then goes back to the parade ring and goes into either box one, two, three or four, depending on where it finished. If it finishes first, the owner and the trainer and the jockey then lead in the horse together into the number one box. And then the vets will come by to check the horses, to check if the horses are still okay and sound after the race. After that, horses come back to drink some water and to get hosed down and cleaned after the race. It's very important that horses get water as much as they can so that they keep cool, calm and collected. So that's it, that's what happens on race day for racehorses. It's quite a systematic approach that is applied for these amazing animals that we call horses.